Okay, now that we have a firm grasp of this first habit of empathy, empathy as feeling into, let's take a look at this idea that one can have empathy for objects. It sounds a little bit strange, right? What does it mean to have empathy for objects? Having empathy for objects, I'm sure, sounds quite strange. But in truth, we empathize with objects on a daily basis. For instance, imagine you are visiting a museum and are admiring Vincent van Gogh's A Starry Night, and you feel as though you are drawn into the work as you are beholding it. This is an experience of feeling into an object of beauty. Or imagine you and a friend go to the movies, after which your friend asks you, Did you like the movie? And you reply, yes, I was really into it. What you are really saying here is that the plot of the movie captured your attention as you were projecting your feelings and thoughts into it. In each of these examples, the movie and the painting, you experienced empathy for objects and were projecting your senses into something you were experiencing. Have you ever walked into a room and got a general feel for it? Maybe you felt into the emotional states of the people in the room, but also maybe you felt into the condition of the room itself. Maybe the room was cold or it had just been cleaned. Or if you've ever purchased a home, and this is a good idea, you might have taken a tour inside the property where you felt into the overall condition of the home and assessed its value. This feeling into an object or objects is also part of one's normal routines in the workplace. Police and firefighters are trained to survey the scene by feeling into all of the dynamics of their environments. Teachers feel not only into the thoughts and emotions of their students, but also the relationships between their students. And doctors project their feelings into different types of treatments or procedures in order to make informed judgments about their patients.